perfect. And now we are actually able to attack down here. Now we're just gonna stay with the Austrians and siege the castle. Damn. Augsburg. Yeah, we are at war with them, so just gonna get rid of them. We just have to get all of the small uh, countries out of the war as soon as possible, I guess. When we manage to do that, we will be in. Actually, we'll have a pretty good chance to win. I mean, against France alone, we can easily win, as I would say. And that's not only because we have the stronger navy. But also because we should actually have stronger armies in general. I mean, research-wise. Oh, actually... They're also at 10 10, but Austria also has military on 10. Okay, actually, we should all be relatively even with the research. But yeah. Advisors died. Okay, it wasn't a military, so. Yeah, we're gonna take the tax one. Gain 170 men per w is it per week? Oh no, month. Okay. Oh yeah, right. We can actually get some more soldiers. It will cost us a little bit, but not so much actually. They're quite cheap. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. Get two uh, mercenary armies. And yeah. With those we should actually be able to easily do it. Just combine those two. I'll just let them regenerate a bit at the moment. And also, if they die, we don't really have to care. But we should send them back to Vienna as defense. Yeah, we, I guess we. Just gonna use our mercenaries to fight as offensive warriors. And we're gonna attack Lansut. Can we get a mercenary with a cannon? Yeah, we can. Perfect. So one more group of mercenaries and... Uh, yeah, we have to take this. And we still need 6,000 more men. Let the mercenaries regenerate in our area. Yeah, the last one is coming. So 
13,000 men, okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna attack Salzburg. Uh, we should move out. But yeah, right, actually we don't really have to care about mercenaries at the moment. They will just regenerate anyway. But let's get two more mercenaries, I guess. Make it three more. Mm. Our mercenary army should really uh, grow rapidly. and one more mercenary army okay they kicked out one of our yeah they kicked one out of ours from our side sent the mercenaries up to Vienna and Let them attack Passau. Or did Passau just... Isn't Passau in the fight? Diplomatic power, nice. Oh, those two arrows aren't fighting against us. Good to know, good to know. Oh, soldiers of Ragusa. Naturally, gonna f attack them. Uh, wait, hold it's to enforce a firm to protect the rights of peasants. The only thing I uh, used mercenaries for is so that they can't attack Vienna. Uh, yeah, crush the peasants. And now we hope to get rid of those 20 oh okay uh, damn why are they their armies way stronger than ours I mean we had more units there total but okay oh um, well could be a little bit lower that's right Okay, but wait, they lost more units in total. That's actually perfect for the long run. And also we uh, trust. And I'm just gonna attack with the 4,000 man stack. And go up here. Okay, we got a ton of uh, national unrest now. Damn, this was so close. 
Se os det. Men vi har den way more soldiers også. Okay, we have to look at autonomy again. Nothing there. Our oh, armies. Second and the third army are gonna stand out here. I want uh. so they don't want the right piece. That's bad. Uh. Yeah, I don't really care about that right now. Twenty-eight thousand with twenty thousand from Austria. Finally won a battle. Down here, oh, those tears are at war with us. Okay. Now we should send my own armies into my capital, so that the enemies can't really attack them. One ship out here, also out there. Oh, you are going to uh, uh, Haven. And we hope that he gets out to the Caribbean so we can re research there and maybe send our colonists there. But first we're gonna send him into Venice so Venice may be able to grow. Uh grow a bit at least. Okay, we want this fight also. But now it's getting harder. And I mean way harder. They completely obliterated the, the, our mercenary army again. Only the French are able to really fight us, it seems. But from time to time at least we are able to also defeat the French. And now we push down to Neapel. Actually, this could have nearly been a world war. 
or at least a European World War. But yeah, luckily it didn't completely go off the rails. Oh, actually we managed to get to the Caribbean Sea. Nice, so now the coast. But it seems like our fleet com completely got destroyed. But at least they did get us some information uh, for the coast and stuff like that. Okay, and we're gonna get a few more mercenaries. The last few we can actually get. But how many units? Okay, they lost 300,000 and we lost 200,000. Uh, but they, I guess, just ca uh, can produce way more. That's our problem. And Austria doesn't have any units left. But they should still have some soldiers left, yeah. Oh, Hungary is completely getting overrun. Okay, that's also a reason why uh, Austria is losing, I guess. So mercenaries will trust free Hungary. And then go and free uh, Vienna. Okay, they freed Bologna again, but I don't care. And they kicked out Austria. Yay. So now it's trust me. Uh. I don't want areas, I want to give them. Yeah, uh, and yeah, I don't really want to cancel any thing of this. So there are only my uh, vessels left. Oh yeah. Oops, I don't, didn't want to make this. Complete surrender. Uh, 
so when two got completely destroyed and when it's got parts again. But yeah. I guess we gonna have to regenerate a lot and then start taking Mantuva back and stuff like that. This would actually have helped if I would have known that this is there. But yeah. It's five transporter and 17 ships to trade. Okay, so. Yeah, we're just gonna accept it because they were our friends, at least. Uh, yeah, we might. Oh, oh, this would take ages because of the our overload abandoned us debuff. A uh, guarantee should help us a bit. So we still have our world ties, perfect. Uh, okay, for 10 years we can't uh, get an alliance with them. Okay, but we can improve our rel relations with them at least. Wait, we have still mercenaries around? Yeah, it seems so. Destroy, destroy them and also destroy those. Okay, now we actually make profit again. Perfect. So this one war destroyed us completely. But we should be able to fight somewhat within the next few years at least. At least I hope. We should be able to repair it somehow. One, two, three. Those get our explorer. And then we send the fleet into uh, one of our. Uh, in one, we send the fleet in one of our ports, and the other fleet is uh, allowed to defend again. I mean, to uh, trade again. Oh, wait, we kept Genevieve. Perfect. Ah. Uh, Against whom are you fighting? The Pope. We get the Pope with Gagus and absent Holland. Uh, yeah, we actually. S we should actually, I guess, we should make it, but we are way too weak. And this fight is against Ragusa. Uh, wait, uh, is, is this a defensive war? Because it doesn't say. Yeah, yeah, it's a defensive war. The Pape wants to reconquer and corner. I have to decline. We're way too weak at the moment. Simply because of the last war. Because we didn't have the manpower for to fight the last war. Strong armies gets out and defeats for defending. Uh, so army to protection efficiency, stability cost, national unrest. Uh, I have to take this modifier for the fifteen percent more uh, manpower. So at least now we can tick up higher with the manpower. Uh, take the prestige. Uh, 
Are we in range for this? No, not really at the moment at least. No, it's a little bit too far away. We also can't go down here. Okay, and also not into Africa. Everything is too far away. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, the next one gives us 100 additional range. Then we are still too far with 50 or so. Okay, that's actually really bad. But... Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end this stream for today, and we, I, gonna try to stream ASAP again. But yeah, so uh, see you guys and bye.